Okay guys, I got my unicycle in the mail. I'm really excited about opening it up and uh, I'm going to show you the unboxing today. And um, hopefully nothing will be broken. As you can see, my battery box is completely squished. So I'm, I'm really kind of concerned about this. Uh, the other box looks to be in good condition. It's a huge box. I mean, this is ridiculous. Look at this freaking thing. And it weighs like 30 pounds. So this box is gigantic. Anyway, let's do some opening. Let's open up the battery first. As much as I want to unveil the King song, let's get the battery out of the way and make sure it's alive. But come on. Let's see this battery. Hopefully it's in good shape. At least it's not on fire. All right. Ooh, wow, look at this. All right, lots and lots of packing here. So this is battery number one. And this is battery number two. Uh, don't know what they look like. The packing's okay so far. And we'll see if they have any damage to it. And lightly cut away at this. put it in the bubble wrap really good. All, that, all the bubble wrap is gone. Like I can't pop anything on this. So hopefully it's okay. I don't know. I'm a little scared here to open it up. Hey, I think it's okay. I think this one's okay. four corners if it's damaged or not. Alright, so this looks like uh, my charging cable and output cable and this looks to be the heat sensor for the batteries. See how hot it gets. That's my guess. I don't know for a fact. So the battery comes with double-sided sticky tape on one side so you can stick it to the inside of the housing of the wheel and ride it around. Yeah, I don't see any physical damage on the first battery. It looks a-okay. So I think they should work on their packing. Maybe use, uh, I don't know much about shipping batteries, but uh, I am batteries, but maybe packing peanuts uh, with, the, with the bubble wrap next time and there'll be like less worry about damage. But yeah, these things are like little bricks. And I don't see any damage on the first corner. I can open it up all the way. Okay. No damage on the second corner. Third corner, good. Fourth corner, good. I have two King Song batteries. And they have to ship the batteries separately uh, when air shipping because of the, uh, the regulations. And these are really big batteries, too. Um, the watt hour, each battery is 403 watt hours. I mean, that's that's a crazy amount of batteries. So, we should move on to the big box, huh? It's time for veggie juice. I don't like eating meals. What the heck am I doing? So exciting, my dog is panting. All right, so the box comes double boxed, which is a very good thing when it comes to shipping. Helps protect your item. Yay. All right, let's keep opening up the box.
dare I say, okay, I don't dare say triple boxed. So the first things that you see when you pick up the box are the manual, the charging cable, and the cable that goes to the charging cable, and a fuse, fuse link. Look at that. Look at this. The pads come packed separately so you can assemble it. My t shirts! They promised me t shirts. I got King Song t shirts. Oh, yeah. Alright. Well, without the battery, it doesn't feel crazy heavy. But let's go ahead and put it on the table. Okay. So, so many things could have gone wrong having it shipped in here, but luckily everything came okay. The wheel seems inflated properly. I think as far as the as far as the batteries go, I think they need to do a better job uh, securing the batteries. So I'm a little concerned about that. But the wheel, the the boxing for the wheel, it is adequate. I wouldn't worry about it ever coming damaged in the mail. So the King Song 14 KS is the smallest most powerful wheel that they have and it's supposed to have 800 watts of power it's supposed to go like 22 miles an hour after you get it unlocked 19 before and uh, honestly I'm just shooting from memory so I mean I have my facts correct so if you're all losing your minds in this video don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. All right. I don't know, man. That's not very high. Is there anything more? I need to add. <laughs> That's crazy low. There's nice grip tape on here. So the pedals sort of angle into each other. Comes with three fuses. Oops, I don't want to grab that. There's a fuse inside here. It's a power button up on top. There's a headlight here and a tail light here. It's my guess, or vice versa. There might be. I can't tell which is which at the moment. Don't have the experience yet. This is my first wheel. Charging port here is secured. It is uh, water resistant. And uh, the pads aren't on yet, so this isn't gonna how it's going to finally look. But, yeah, this is the basic look of the wheel. I'm very, very excited about charging this up and riding it around. This should be lots of fun. Alright guys, so basically... There are screws lined up behind the LEDs, and you have to pull the LED board out or the LED uh, strip out. And then there's a little plug behind there that just unplugs pretty easy. So, like that. Bam. You need a sticker strip over there. 
Easy squeezy. There's Sammy, creating a mess. We buy our toys, she chooses them up, we throw them out. We buy her more toys, she chooses them up, throws them out. We are single-handedly keeping the dog toy business going. So, as we can see, right in here, we got to wedge something really tight in there. I wouldn't use a screwdriver. I'd use uh, some kind of piece, of piece of plastic, and you could actually pull, pry that off. Uh, it clips right underneath the black piece right here. Let me see if I can get a, a good view of that. But Or maybe I broke it off by accident. But anyway, I could always fix that. So you have to do it on both sides. Right, the most difficult one to do is you got to wedge a screwdriver in between the plastic here and pry that piece up. I'm, I won't be able to do it on camera. I just wanted to show you. Um, where it is. I'm lifting the wheel up so I really can't even show you where it is but if you could see the seam in the plastic right underneath there that's where you wedge your right, screwdriver. Now that I have it off I could show you. If you wedge your screwdriver right about here you'll be able to pop it off with relative ease. When you get it off there are two wires holding speakers on. Pretty easy to take, take off. I need two hands to do it. And as you can see the battery casing right there. Easy squeezy, nothing on this side. I don't even see a board on this side, so the board must be buried underneath the the extra shell here. So, so this is the King Song, all uh, built complete, uh, working just fine. King Song was nice enough to send me some uh, t-shirts, but I'm obviously too big to fit in these t-shirts. So <laughs> I decided just to put it on for today and and uh, say thank you to King Song for the nice t-shirts. And uh, hopefully we can get this uh, get this thing going, turn it on, see what's going on here. But yeah, actually, before I turn it on, I'll just kind of give you a quick look, show you what it looks like. Pedals full down, headlight front and back, switches depending on which direction you're going. Hello, Kingsol. Disconnected. So turns on easy. Rolls real easy. It stabilizes itself. As you can see, I'm lightly pulling it in either direction. And I think I'll move the camera down a little bit, show you guys uh, one of my first rides. In all honesty, I've been on this uh, once before, so tried it out yesterday for a little while. So I don't think I'll look like a total idiot. Yeah, for now. Uh, so I'm going to practice a lot more. But I wanted to show you guys what this looked like complete. And uh, end the video finally.